Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever you are, remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru, Code Frenchy. Today, episode number 169. What do you have on the menu, coach, today? First of all, we're going to talk about that dad and Ab situation. Then, the recap game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Winnipeg Jet, and the four game on the road. Uh, finally, my top 10 ab prospect for the month of October. So let's dive in and talking about the first subject of the day. The first subject guys, yeah, is about uh, that enough situation. We got a couple of new updates about his situation. First of all, the Montreal Canadian announced uh, yesterday morning they put uh, that enough on the ER retro October 31st, so he is uh, av available to come back with the Montreal Canadiens next Tuesday. Then, one of the different avenues for the Montreal Canadiens, guys, possibly they trade him. Uh, look like they have some kind of negotiation with the Washington Capitals. We know the Capitals have some kind of injuries around the team, and possibly they would like to add a national forward. We know the connection with uh, all the recent players play over there, so possibly that enough could be a player that Capitals are looking for. The Montreal could put him on the waiver wire and let him go. If it's nobody claim him, he could re play for the Laval Rocket or he could refuse to play there, but still the salary cap still continues to be on the Montreal Canadiens. Or you could have some kind of break contract between both camps and then decide to him to go to the KHL and the Montreal going to remove him on the salary cap. And that's maybe the best way if I ask me the best solution for the Montreal Canadiens. One thing we know with her is Ken Hughes right now is on the phone. He called many teams. He tried to make some kind of trade uh, around the league, possibly to drop one or two forward inside of the roster to have a little bit more freedom to Martin St. Louis to not put all the friend player on the out of the lineup. And this is something like a very difficult situation when you have to do that, so that will help him, Martin St. Louis. Let's move on now, guys, for the next subject of the day. So the next subject, guys, is about the recap game between the Montreal Canadian and the Winnipeg Jet. The Montreal Canadian last part is scored 3-2 and over time, a goal at kind corners at 145. Great performance overall for the Montreal Canadian. They seen the game, they got one point and a good trip around for the last four games on the road. Again, the St. Louis Blues, the Winnipeg Jets, the Minnesota Wild, and the Buffalo Sabres. We're going to talk about this in the next couple of minutes. One thing I like to do, guys, is to watch the deserve to win the home It's something produ produced on the website. And after 1,000 simulation, the Winnipeg Jets have a chance to win 68.1 versus 31.9. Usually, it's because the, the team have a little bit more advantage on analytic gave that kind of result at the end of the day. Let's see, guys, the result of the game. First of all, Montreal Canadiens take the lead at 643. Zuski is six of the season. Carfield, Savard have an assist. And then at the end of the period on power play, Pierre-Luc Dubois score is fourth. Connor uh, Gagné got an assist at 1728. Uh, Montembeau, he wish he could save that one. He feel like uh, he maybe not get too much out of his uh, crease, uh, but Dubois have an amazing great shot, wrist shot, a uh, little bit above the glove of Montebo. Overall, two power play for the Winnipeg Jet, uh, one for Montreal, not much, uh, and a little bit advantage, the shot 11-6 for the Winnipeg Jet. Uh, during the second period, Kirby Dak uh, gave again for the Montreal Canadiens for the second time the lead by the score 2-1 this time. Caulfield and Zuski got an assist. That got a rebound of that goal at 454. Then less of one minute later, it's time the captain, well, they're not the captain anymore because he was captain before. It's Blake Weller score is the third of the season. Dubois and Sandberg got an assist. Montreal challenge again. That play, they thought the interference by, or by Weller pushed Montembeau out and it looked like the the referee did not see this way. And Matra got a penalty for this one. Unfortunately, the Jet did not take advantage of the power play. After 40 minutes, uh, the score was 2-2. The shot was advantage when we played Jet uh, 22 versus 15. And then uh, during the third period, no goal. One power play for the Matra Canadian and one more for the Winnipeg Jet, no goal. A little bit uh, advantage, 11 for the shot for the Winnipeg Jet, and then join overtime. Kyle Connor, se second goal of the year, assisted by Sheffley 
and Maurice to give the W for the, Mont for the Winnipeg Jets, a 3-2 over the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, the best leader of the game tonight, uh, Coffin with two points. Zuski shot five times. Saval played 25-29, and Montembeau have a save percentage, 9-1-7. For the Jets, uh, Connor, two points. Connor light shot six times on the Montembeau. Connor played 24-33, guys. Unbelievable performance of Kyle Connor tonight. And Ellerbach have a save percentage, a 9 0 Nine. Like I do all the time, I want to show you some information about the analytics. On this one, guys, I want you to pay attention on the core C or the CF percentage. What you're talking about? So that gives you the puck position overall. As when that game, the Winnipeg Jet is 60%, Montreal Canadiens is only 40%, and honestly, it was 39.26. The one of the lowest CF percentage. And during since the beginning of the season, a five versus five high danger, the high danger chance for pretty even Jet eleven Montreal Canadian ten, so that's pretty good overall for both team. And then if you want to look about all situation, by the puck position again, the Jet seventy five Montreal only uh, twenty five and the HDCF uh, complete more advantage than with Big Jet. They have more danger and during the power play. Total 18, Montreal Canadian 13. That's the one reason Montreal need to get better on those chances to have a better chance to win. Then I want to talk about the, the stat 5 versus 5. The best line for the Montreal Canadian chance to score, it was honestly Dax Zizky-Carfield at .738 following by the line that they were racked and Monaghan finally events. Goal again, Anderson Gave a uh, one goal the line that they were racket off for sleep, but Zuski was a uh, goal again. Chance open up the best was even at point three zero four. Then for the defensemen, guys, I like to watch this one over there. We don't talk enough, but again, they play only eleven forty four at five versus five. But it, they are the best pairing. But motion to win, guys. 0.862. Cover Savage have a great game on the offensive side, and they have gave less chance to score again. It was 6.15. Edmondson, Jack High with a little bit better. And then finally, not much offensive for Cooley and Savard yesterday. And a little bit chance to score again them. So this is a great stat. You would like to follow that. Follow uh, when you watch the game after the game with the stat. Uh, then what I hold about this the game between the Winnipeg Jet and Montreal Canadiens. Look, guys, uh, the first line consists of performing and there is one, one, if you want to, your top players, possibly they get 70 points, 80 points, one point per game. They have to perform on the road. Although the first trip, when they play against Washington, Detroit, since that, on the road, this first line doing very well, Carfield and the Ed Zuzuki. And then Dak now joined this them for the last two games, does a really good job uh, with them. Montembeau was unbelievable again for the Montreal Canadiens since the beginning of the season and four game. Montembeau show exactly what he could become as a goaltender in NHL. And finally, the return of Joel Manson stabilized a little bit more or balanced more. The defenseman for the Montreal Canadiens play very well beside Albert Jacquard. Overall, the Montreal Canadiens see in the game, got one point. Uh, we love the team effort. We love the way they play. And uh, for me, it was uh, honestly a great performance overall for the Montreal Canadiens. If you want to look a little bit about the negative side, I would say to you, they need to get better on the out of the penalty box. Uh, they struggle a little bit. Now, they gave five power play. And the last four games, they gave a goal. That's something they have to get a little bit better on the special team, on the PK. On the flip side, they consist scoring on the power play. That's a good sign for this. Uh, and then it's great for the Montreal Canadiens. And we have to give credit for what they accomplished in the last four games. And talking about the last four games, my next subject, guys, is about uh, them uh, on the road. And I want to share it with you, first of all. Uh, they are a record of 2-1-1 on the road. Uh, they have a good performance overall. They gave 13 goals and they scored 13 goals. So it's pretty even. That's a great thing. They increasing the power play since that they are was on the road. They score one goal per game until today. Finally, the only thing is a little bit negative or decreasing is the performance on the PK. They gave guys one goal every single game. They gave four goals and the 15 attempts on the fourth trip. And I want to recall you for the power play. And they scored three goals on 10 attempts, by the way. 
on the puck position, they are decreasing a little bit more, unfortunately. The last game was the worst, like I mentioned to you, with only 39%. But usually they play a little bit 40, 47. They are only three games or the 11 game. They are the puck position a little bit better. That's something they have to get a little bit better for the next couple of games, give them a better chance to win. And finally, they shot the on the goal again. So they give to opening team to shoot the puck. It's a little bit negative. They give too many shots uh, on the road. They gave all the four game guys uh, 30 shots in more. And they was outshot uh, by three of the four games. So overall, guys, uh, that was a pretty good uh, performance as a team with a record of 2-1-1. Now, I want to mention this, guys. Uh, very great performance uh, for the Montreal Canadiens first from the first line. Sandy put all together Zuski, Carfield, and Kirby Dak. Uh, guys, they produced 60 points and the uh, four game on the road. Uh, six goals, 10 assists, 60 points. That gives you an idea. They scored 13 goals. So they're almost 50% of the goal for the Montreal Canadiens on the road. So we have to give credit for Zuski and Carfield. If they consist to perform like that on the on the road, possibly they get over 70 points for the upcoming season. But with Kirby Dak, Dak looked great with them. Their analytics is getting better and better. We we'll definitely give you a little bit more information about the those three players together in the next couple of videos. Finally, for resume that road trip, uh, Montreal Canadian guys, the performance of the goaltender continues. Uh, whatever is Jake Allen, whatever is uh, Samuel Montembo, uh, we have to give credit for both uh, the performance most of the game for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, we cannot attribute one specific game. It was because of the goalie. We have to be really happy about their performance. Uh, and of course, uh, remind you, the rookie still hanging there. A lot of people, so maybe they're going to struggle on the road. Does not happen. Sakaski get better. While well, Sarai did not play a lot again, the Jets are with only eight minutes because of many power play, almost nine minutes. But Jack I play is most to our eyes in the beginning of the season with Edmondson. And then we have Cody consistently performing beside David Saval. But what about Jordan Harris? With, of course, with Kovacevic, the best pairing for the Montreal Canadian, the most consistency defenseman pairing. So, look, great road trip for Montreal. They're going to be back at Saturday night at the Bell Centre. They're going to play again the biggest golden night. Finishing, guys, with the last subject of the day. So, my last subject of the day, guys, about the Montreal Canadian, the 10 top prospect. I took only the month of the October or Sunday are starting the season 2022-2023. So there are some players who could be there. They are not there. Sean Farrell is not there. Did not play many games in October. I just want to mention this. Was like, why is this? Or why someone is number six? It should be number three. It's because I look on the performance in the last couple of weeks. So let's start it with number 10. This coming from the Finland, uh, Perteri Nurmi, play in the Liga League. Have a very good month overall. The last game, he, he have 2.1 goal, 1 assist. Uh, then at number 9, we have to go with Kaden Primo. Whatsoever, Laval Rocket does not perform very well. He's still hanging there with them. Then we have to go with um, the goaltender, of course, for OIU, OIU State, uh, Jacob Dorbez. Have an amazing, great uh, performance in October. Then we have to go with the defenseman, Adam Armstrong, play on the SHL. Have a good month. We know he's going to play for the World Junior Championship for Team Sweden. Number 6, uh, Riley Kidney. Have a great performance in October overall. Keep continues to try to reach for the second year back to back 100 points. I like the way he's doing that. Whatsoever, he did have a great camp with Montreal. We cannot give up on him. He's a second round pick for Montreal Canadian in 2021. Then we have to talk about Joshua Rouen. Whatsoever, he did not perform for the last couple of games, maybe one point per game. He still have a really strong month of the October, the top 10 scorer in a QM. He's my number five top prospect. My number four underrated players is Cedric Gaindon. Have a great month of October. Keep consistently performing with the team and it would be interesting what he's going to do for the rest of the season. Is someone going to follow up? I like that pick for the Montreal Canadian. Then number three, Philippe Mazar. He played uh, with a Kitchener Rangers, he came back uh, very strong in first game in the OHL with four points. And uh, you have a good start of the season with them. Then my number two, what about Owen Beck? Uh, maybe one of the best uh, for the Montreal Canadian top prospect. He keep considering what he did. Then he played at the rookie camp, at the main camp, and now with OHL. Uh, one night, you have six points. An amazing, great month of October. But for me, the best 
is Lane Hudson. What a performance last week uh, with two goals. Uh, continues to make a very a big impact with the Boston College. Uh, and it would be interesting, possibly become, well, is definitely the top best five defenseman NCA so far. This complete guy is my ad top prospect for the Montreal Canadian in October. And of course, this complete, of course, uh, this episode at Ad Daily News. Uh, but before we leave, we want to remind you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the Archination Live Show. And please, and please leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Tell me what you think or give me some feedback. Coach, I would like to you talk a little bit more about this. Or coach, uh, I would like to hear from you about another subject. Whatsoever, guys, I'm here for you. And hopefully... You enjoy my app daily news. Until the next time, we want to remind you, of course, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great, blessing day and an amazing, great weekend, everybody. <laughs>